here are your 42 affirmation cards for kids in Canva. There are six to a page, so there are seven page total with affirmation cards, and they also include the, oh, I need to put the title in there, but they include the title and also the instructions. You can keep them the way it is, or you can change it up a little bit to suit your need, and just put your blog name here. Now, to change the affirmation cards themselves, you just have to drag and drop them into the frame. I'm just going to use um, the bonus watercolor paper here and drag them into each affirmation card very quickly. You can keep them like that or maybe do different colors, switch them back and forth. Okay, so that's done. You can either keep it like that or you can change it up by one simple way is just to add a rectangle and change the color inside this one it's a little bit harder to do because it's kind of a adventurous it's a very long word but you can still make it smaller to fit into it now you can change this to white and then select both the rectangle and position them middle okay so that it's like that and now you can make this a little bit smaller so it fits into the white box instead of the blue and that could be it or you can make it just space and then go like that and take away the period or we can also make this a little smaller so the period will go in okay. and once you're in there you can also add graphics now these graphics it's really up to you you need to use canvas term of use if you're going to do anything that is in canva but you can also upload your own graphics or ones that you've purchased from somewhere else like create a fabrica um, these are canvas elements that i'm showing you these are just example as to what you can do you can have it here and you can also let's see put something else in there little cute little us uh, cute little slot here hanging kind of cute right all these different animals you could add little details like uh, let's see confetti or leaves so we'll add some leaves again I am just showing you Depending on your purpose of what you plan to use these such as social media or to sell to give away you're gonna have to use canvas term of use I am just showing you all the different things that you can do with them now I might might not be the best choice there you know but you get the gist okay um, so what else can you do yes in this Let's take this again over here. You can also, let's see, again, we'll try to center this. And maybe this one will make the transparency a little bit lighter so we can see the background. And from here, you, what you can do is you can still add graphics to the back. So it goes like this. Make it big, right? And then bring it to the back so that it's on the back of the, the cards like this. And from here, you can make this, since this one is short, you can make it really, really big and cover up the line in the background. And you can also separate them a little bit so that the I am is on the top and then the cool is on the bottom if that's what you want to do it doesn't look so great so I'm just going to put it back the way it was and have it like this or you can just have it on top and maybe have the line now that the lines in the back you need to go and either put this to the back you go to here, go layers, and then we say move backwards. And now the lines in the front, so now you can move them down. <clears throat> and 
and you can simply move it back or down if you like. I guess one I want to move to the front because I've got the, the white background or rectangle selected. Okay. So that's one thing you can do if you like that little slight graphic in the background. And you can even do this, just the background itself transparent. Okay. And you can add borders around it. So let's see what we have here. Selecting some borders and showing you what you can do. So you can have that. And again, you can change these up to be whatever you want them to be. Um, gray, this is blue. And then add this to the bottom. I am not. And then do this. The point of having these templates is that you have all the affirmation there. You can play with it. You can move the words around. You can delete them and then just use them if you like them, delete them if you don't like them. But it's something for you to not have and to research the Pinterest and wonder, oh, what can I do? And that'll take, and then you get distracted by other stuff. And then it will take a while. So from here, this alone, we could say I am not and change the font for not. Even change it to something else. And then <clears throat> maybe alone, we could also have it a different font if you like. Okay, so that's a little different. And we can also have, as always, you can either add other graphics to it. Or you can just leave it sometimes simple is best okay and that is how you do that and also photos you can do photos right I just show you all these graphics you can do photos just uh, drag and drop things in so let's see I have these beautiful graphics here let's try this purple okay so let's say you want some floral floral affirmation cards Again, you can change this to white so you can see it better, or you can do effects, which is this, and you make this black. You see how that really changes it? And you can also change, I uh, believe, the, let's see, the thickness of the, the black. See how that looks? Yeah, there you go. I don't like it too much because then they kind of like go into too much into each other, the letters. So I'm just going to keep it. There you go. That or the other way to do is you can select this and do effects and do background change. So you basically really just change it up right there. I have the purple, the yellow works best right there and then also change this just really change it up to whatever you feel like it because it's yours this one is best with the white and here let's see we can also do this let's drag and drop I can stand up for others and that's it very very simple to do now look at all these different ways that you can, you basically, or I just basically changed up this one template that looks like this, really, right? Just both, but I made them either very simple, just by dropping in the colors, dropping in photos, changing the effects of the fonts. Here, same thing, photo effects, and then adding some graphics to it, and you got Totally variety of, of affirmation cards. So just from this, you can use this one template and make um, 42 affirmation cards with just the four color watercolor patterns uh, paper that I gave you. You can make 42 affirmation cards with just maybe a spring floral theme 
or since we're going to fall or fall, fall floral theme. And 42. And these are all different products that you can list in your on your blog or on your shop, right? So 42 cute animals, uh, affirmation cards, or even fairies, uh, dinosaurs, okay? And this too, simple patterns, maybe a funky uh, rainbow affirmation, 42 rainbow affirmation cards. And all you have to do is maybe switch around the, you can either keep just these two and switch around like maybe vertical, one, one of your cards can go vertical like this, and the other ones can go top and bottom. So you don't really have to change every single card. And sometimes if you notice, uh, so um, some sellers just have one pattern on every single uh, card. Okay. But if we want to be different and unique, we want to offer more variety, then we'll offer uh, 42 different designs or or just keep them all the same, like that, okay? So there you go, uh, I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time, bye-bye.